That's a fucking spirit and a half, yeah. Terminator Arnold Schwarzenegger called you the McGregor Nader and then said you're one of the greatest athletes of all time. What did you think about that high praise from Arnold when he said that? It's it's absolutely inspirational. Arnold is an absolute legend. I mean, I just look at his story. The man arrived on American soil butt naked, couldn't speak one word of English. <laughs> he learned he learned he actually could speak three words of English. I'll be back. And he translated them three words, I'll be back, into eight figures. And to hear that from my good friend Arnold, it is inspiring and it is motivating. Do you already have your three word saying that you're going to make millions off of? Or an, another saying that you, you want to give out to the people I, right I now? I do have my three words that I am going to make eight figures off. It's a little Irish saying. It goes, Pogue Mahone. And what's that mean? It translates into, kiss my ass. <laughs> you can catch one in my house. No smiling, eh? One, two, three. It's going from here as well. Nice. Sure. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, definitely. Motherfucker don't look like me. <laughs> <laughs> what the f? What the f? What the f? If you stay in the house, if you win the fight, you can stay in the house. I actually want to ask you a question. There's a, a picture that everyone's seen now when you came over to Jose's section in the audience. And there's like a, a little girl between you guys. Who is that? It was a fucked up scene, yeah? <laughs> I jumped over the cage, adrenaline gone. And I, I seize his little skinny Brazilian head and I'm running for him. And then I, that little girl was actually my little niece. Oh. My niece from Ireland, so I'm like... What the? F and then my girlfriend was there. It was just a weird. I don't know what was going on, to be honest. Your emotions are going crazy. I was just screaming at, at him, but my niece seemed to love it. She was like, <laughs> she was just looking up laughing. It was a weird one, all right, but fuck it. It is what it is. <laughs> How about a sound or noise that you love? The tag popping off a clo uh, off new clothes. <laughs> How about on a scale of one to ten? How weird are you? Twelve. <laughs> I concur and I love it. <laughs> Make me a coffee. <laughs> Go ahead, Bruce. <laughs> Said you enjoy money. You made over 1,800 disclosed dollars per second tonight in your performance. Um, from the guy who celebrated. What? How do you know what I made? Disclosed. Uh, your new contract was 75,000 to fight, 75,000 to win, and 50. Don't you talk about my money, yeah? Don't ever just, talk about my money. You don't know what I make, yeah? Just after 60 G's in Sweden. Connor, you got time for a quick meeting? So look back. How about LA? The king is coming. Hashtag Con Air. Yes! Oh, shit! Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Supposed to be whooping people for a living. I'm not fucking getting my hair and makeup done on the Las Vegas strip. You're always very uh, arrogant with your opponent, very cocky. So you do? Do you think you will be a more humble man after you lose against Jose Aldo? Never. It will because be it never will for happen. You. I'm gonna smoke him. Trust me. Every time it's a new guy. This is a new question. I and I whoop him and make it look easy. Yeah, you will have nothing to say. I'm gonna smoke him, trust me. And then I'm gonna be extra cocky thinking of you. <laughs> Thank you, man. I still want an autograph if I see you. One last quick one for you, Connor. Uh, I couldn't help but notice you did shave your head. They said that this is sort of a throwback to the, the early Conor McGregor. This was sort of a, 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 a something turning in your mind, like you were going TMZ back. TMZ covered it, I thought. Uh, what does it hair, signify? It signifies nothing. I just okay. was looking in the mirror saying, I don't wanna wake up, my hair is fucking annoying me. <laughs> See you later. That's it. You know what I mean? That's all it signifies. I mean. What does that mean to you to get promoted to brown belt after victory? 100%. It's a, it's an honor. So for John to give me a brown belt on a night where we did not grapple one bit, I am honored. How good does that mean I must be? I didn't even grapple to get a brown belt. I must be the best brown belt on earth.
<laughs> we're, all right. we're the ring girls. That's right. That's a good point. You should have gone in with a car and said that. Big similar. Next, this next contract, we, we got to get him a chin. Instead of a suit, let's get him a chin. Connor, you tweeted out with the video of that jump shot that your confidence comes from your big ball sack. Can you elaborate on that? <laughs> you can't carry emotions in there. And outside of it, outside of it, it's a game, like all that at the weigh-ins and all. It's all, it's like, I honestly feel like Stone Cold Steve Austin or something. You know what I mean? That's, just, that's it. <laughs> I feel like I'm stealing the show. I feel like I've stole the show, stole everything. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, st I'm gonna steal all the money from the UFC. You know, high, high tail it back to Ireland, big bag of money. <laughs> Fuck the recession. <laughs> Lamas is rubbish, really. He should be cut. From Chad's at five foot six, he should be a 135, but he's gone past that limit now. Now he's just a little small bodybuilder that's stuck in the 145 division. You should be thankful too. You got a bigger check now than fighting Dosanos. Been a little penny check with that. My man. check, my check, Roman. Don't talk about money, you're broke. <laughs> uh, but all I want is a thank you, or even a little dance. You're welcome. Even a little welcome. dance. Dance for me, Nate. Dance for me. And don't look me in the eye when you dance. And then the Lamas video is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. I looked down into the crowd, I seen 40 chains. I climbed up down 40 chains, and it was Ricardo Lamas. I seen him in the hotel with a big box of pizza. Now I'm talking about 22 inch pizza and on top of the 22 inch pizza was a big can of Pepsi or Coke. Do me something about Coke or Pepsi. <laughs> my thumb was swollen. It was like a little football coming out of my thumb. But again, I just simply improvised, adapted and overcame. Again, it's just a thumb. You know what he told me? You don't need a thumb to fight. <laughs> That's what he told me. I said, is it true you hurt your hand? No, you don't need a thumb to fight. I said, okay. <laughs> On top of all the media, everybody here, I love every single one of you people here, all the media, I'm grateful for every single one of you, but I am absolutely sick to death of you. I have done <laughs> so, so much of it. Or have any plans to change how you approach doing media for a fight the next time around? You know, it's damn hard work, but then, and every time I say, you know what, fuck this, next time I'm not doing all of this, and then I get handed the check. I'm like, all right then. <laughs> I'll do it one more time. <laughs> uh, I'm on like a skin fade. Um, okay. Like up to about here. Connor, we're gonna give you what we call the Tom Egan. Okay. And we're just gonna make it all slicked over your head. <laughs> That's actually we the Connor McGregor. Oh. Connor of 20 <laughs> <laughs> Uh What do you think? I like it. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. You have the side shave, dude. Yeah? It makes you more aerodynamic. You know what I mean? Faster. Faster. <laughs> Stop playing soccer. When I realized it was a little, it was for women, you know, I, I would rather fight. Ah, new gloves and everything. <laughs> you always go Business in the Business is good, huh? What's this for, Jack? It's not really my thing. Yeah. Ooh, they're biker. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad, actually, to be honest. Yeah, There's a guy who's cool. What? Well, I'd rock that. <laughs> I want you to feel loose, you got room to move. What can you see on it, on this shot? Turn the screen around, let me see. Ah, oh, that's fucking sick, that is. <laughs> that is serious. Hello. <laughs> it's a press conference, yeah? I feel like Barack Obama, you know, when he addresses the nation. I have signed a big deal. Am I on a big screen in, in LA right now? So. So. Thank you so much for talking to us today, Connor. Best of luck to you. As ever, a ton of media, but I get it done. Dana Pay as well, so it's all good. <laughs> and he's waiting for your autograph. So. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, he he's definitely selling them, yeah? I'm 100% saying that one.